going to uh, Backpackers um, parking. So uh, we'll be there. It'll be about a quarter of a mile to uh, the trail, the trailhead to the John Muir Trail. So we're going. We're gonna make a right just right up there, and that's it. That's where we parked the car for three and a half weeks. That's it, we're putting the packs on and starting the trail. Ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. Here we go. Another rest. 10 15 minutes later. Whew. Today's one of the hottest days because we haven't had uh, 44 plus pounds on our back in a couple of years, actually. We haven't had to carry 44 plus pounds uh, up these altitude gains. So today we're gaining 4,000 feet in eight miles. <laughs> So that, I think I'll drop two, three pounds today, easy, hands down. And uh, remind me to tell you about the Brazilians that we met. Uh, All right. Mary would be proud of me today. All right. So you feel like uh, are you making a, you're not questioning yourself why you're doing this? No. When, when those, when those people asked us, oh, 211 miles. You see the reaction. Uh, well. Maybe if you reversed it, maybe I question people who take a one mile nature walk and say, are we there yet? A second snack break. Oh, thanks. Pepperoni. Mmm. That's good. I like that, huh? Mm hmm. You've been gone for two hours. And how many miles do you think, Lee? I don't know. I'm not counting miles. Right. We're walking. Yeah, it's a pretty grueling. We don't get into numbers right now. How come we want to get into numbers? Is that a strategy? It's a psychological thing. You focus on the numbers. Alright. Pepperoni is good. We just want to do that at the stock station. Where do you get that? Oh. I am just above. You think you have it bad. Houston, we have a problem. A big problem. But I think we can make it work. Um, basically, we're missing part of our stove uh, so we can cook, so we can't cook and we had it when we packed and it's not here now and I indicated to double check it this morning otherwise you probably would have noticed it and even if we had have noticed it we still would have been in without a stove so basically the plan is now is we're allowed to have fires below 9,600 9, feet we'll make a fire tonight and cook our dinner we'll make a fire tomorrow night cook our dinner and then Wednesday afternoon we'll be in Tuolumne Meadows and they have a general store there and we'll pick up a, another stove top there. If they don't have one there, we'll have to get on a bus back to Yosemite and go to one of their camp stores there and pick one up and then get back on the trail. So, that's
that's what we're looking at. <laughs> Oh, that beauty. It's like they're doing a controlled burn over there. There's like three of them, look. Oh wow, it's weird, I just kicked in. I know, I stopped the show. It, it took me a while, I think. Yeah, I just... We started slow anyway. Yeah. Like, I mean, this is pretty brutal. Because I told you it would be, you know? Yeah, but uh, it almost feels like I don't feel my backpack. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that's heavenly. There's a water spot. Raining. Isn't that too nice? Yep. I've got my rain hat on, so I'm good. Oh, yeah. That so much reminds me of Pariah Canyon. I uh, know. Doesn't it? It's exactly oh, the same. Woo! I right, think shower. That's mm -hmm. that's what we need a few days from now. Shower. So you can see the drop. Okay, come on. All right. I'm taking a shower. Because I won't get a chance to later on. So taking advantage of the water. <laughs> oh my god. Are you you you're so religious? Yeah. You're getting baptized again. No to baptize him. John Mio just christened me again. Lee, people have the same idea. See what they see us showering? They shower too. Monkey see, monkey do. It's going really slow. I know, that's, that's what I was telling you. That one was harder than the other one. Yeah, but Once you do it. That's fine, but you can do it for one person. No, yeah. you don't need two people. Gonna be kind of take photos of this couple. We're getting close to uh, uh, the camp, the campsite where we're going to be tonight. Uh, a quarter mile? No, it's hard to say I'm not up here, but it's been a rough but fun day. <laughs> oh, that's flat surface. Uh, it's still hot. Woo! Well, we're here at the uh, the Backpackers Campground in Little Yosemite Valley. Um, we're like two miles south of Half Dome. Today was a really rough day, but also a very productive day. Um, 
we knocked out the first leg of day one, um, despite our weight load of over 45 pounds, and we haven't done serious incline like that in a long time with heavy weight. We did really well. Um, we don't have a stove. We don't have the piece that we need. Um, unfortunately, we've been very lucky that uh, people we made friends with early today are letting us borrow their stove, which I thought they probably would. Um, we spoke to the ranger up here, and she said we can probably pick one up at, um, at TM. So... It's looking good. It's not looking as uh, negative as it was maybe several hours ago. And we're about to go grab some dinner and get a good night's sleep. And we have a 10-mile day in front of us tomorrow. And uh, Mary, and Mary, you'd be proud today. I represented Brazil very well. We met a, a couple of Brazilians on the trail. And I mentioned to him how terrible it is that they're not spending enough money on the women's soccer team and how they sent B-grade players uh, to the Olympics in London. So um, you should be very proud. I gave him shit for that. And I called him soft. Yes, Lee did call that guy because we told him what we're, we're doing a John Muir uh, trek for 211 miles, then 10 more miles down to the town. And he said he couldn't do it, and I couldn't, you know. And Lee said, you know what, you can't do it? And <laughs> the guy said, why? Because you become soft. And he agreed with me. <laughs> and he agreed, and his two, two, two or three, three friends, uh, <laughs> three Brazilian friends started laughing. But, but he was cool with it, but I thought it was pretty funny when Lee yeah, said. Yeah, he got the joke. Yeah. I love your suit. Yeah. Who's, who's, the, who's your designer? <laughs> Well, actually, this is my fencing outfit and my bee catching outfit. I fence and I catch bees. <laughs> my name is Honey. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> Honey Bee. <laughs> that's a cute name. Oh, the mosquitoes. All right, they're biting. Let's go back. Did you go high down today? Did your stove break? Oh yeah, we had a fun day today. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. We weren't able to borrow someone's connector. Um, or start to go into a gas can. We're just going to make a fire and cook our food that way until we get to TM. We're going to Mount Whitney, so... Oh. Um, we hope we can pick one up at TM. So, so where are you guys headed? Uh, we're just going to go up to Half Dome tomorrow. Oh, yeah. nice. Very Head nice. back out. Oh, that's cool. Great weather, though. It's nice little oh, yeah. camping right here, though. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can scare all the mosquitoes with it. I know. Thank you. See you in a bit. Do you want to get the uh, bear boxes out? Because I can't eat your food because of the soil. Oh, okay, all right. Lee and I just saw. A deer back there, eating. It's pretty cool. Another one over there. Another one there somewhere. Yeah,